Okay. Good evening, all of you. Welcome to English class. I am English teacher Shahid Ashikurama. Students, I hope everyone will be in good mood. Discussing on this part of beauty, I have stopped. I have made three parts on the chapter known as a thing of beauty. Students, today I'll conduct a summary or recapitulation session on the chapter a thing of beauty by john kids so beauty is uh, attractive but as per john kids it's what what we can say it's endless process never ends with the pass of time but when we get attracted to a beauty that attracts us it has an ending it get end in our life Okay, so just with this idea, I am going to begin the today's class. What is that? A thing of beauty. And today is the summary. I have done line-wise explanation. Introduction is over. And today is the end of the, that class of thing of beauty. And after the end, we will discuss the question answers. So this video will help you to work on the chapter and question. Okay, so let me start. Okay, the page, let me bring in front of you the page where we can discuss the about the poet summary of the poem, A Thing of Beauty. Okay, here is the, on your screen students, you can see the class 12 English Flamingo, textbook name is Flamingo, poem is A Thing of Beauty, written by John Kitts. John Kitts was born in London in the year 1795 and died in Rome in 1821 at the young age of 25 due to illness. He died at the young age 25. Okay, he's a romantic poet and his poetry is classified by sensual imagery in his popular work, which is a series of odes. Okay, ode is a, a style of poem written by the poets. So uh, uh, what is an ode? A lyrical poem which is meant for a particular subject. For example, I can tell you this poem has written on a creation of urn. Urn means refer, we can connect to the it's a Greek one, and even uh, this poem is connected to Greek mythology. Okay, as per Endymion is a uh, protagonist, as per Greek, so connecting to what uh, a subject, particular subject uh, to an issue. And that is known as Ode. Okay. And even it has a lyric. Getting my point? Today his poem are one of the most short after creation in English literature. The above given poetry is an excerpt from the his poem Endymion, a poem, poetic romance. It was written in 1818. Considered to be epic poem. Considered to be an epic poem like Mahabharata and all. It's an epic so similarly, uh, it's an epic poem. It can be considered to be an epic poem because it deals with the mythological or uh, systematic or connecting to the uh, word Greek belief of Greek system. So that's why it's it is or it can be connected to the epic poem. Okay. So let us deal or let us read it some lines about theme of the poem. Okay. So what is the theme of the poem? A theme of a thing of beauty is a source of constant joy. Here a thing of beauty is a source of constant joy. Beauty can be found everywhere. It is something that has the ability to transform lives. So this here, the beauty has a power to uh, uh, what? To give life. To make us when we are lifeless, it gives a life. Not lifeless refers to that. Dead. Here lifeless refers to that. We are demoralize this beauty give us moral when we are upset this beauty give us a life to live when we are uh, what we don't have the energy to live this beauty give us energy to live it also highlights the fact the beauty has therapeutic quality what i told you the therapeutic quality the ther what therapy what you can say the ability to remove negativity what we have in us that the beauty is doing here Okay, next, what is it is saying? It can be an, any object, nature, tales, or even noble deeds of our ancestors. It can be anything that 
may create or that may give a object of beauty okay it can be any object it can be nature it can be tells what we have read it okay and even or even noble deeds of our ancestor what noble uh, ancestor they have done it it can be that okay i hope about the poet and the theme of the poem is quite clear to you okay students theme of the poem is quite clear to you i hope uh, this is quite clear to you we will be dealing in the next part of the poem that is the gist of the poem the summary of the poem we will be dealing it okay students yes students let us begin with the discussing of the gist of the poem or the summary of the poem okay and uh, what about the poet then theme is quite clear to you now about the uh, gist of the summary of the poem the poet john kit says that beauty things will never become nothing okay as they will continue to hold us in their spell and soothe our soul beauty things will here see students the beauty doesn't refer to temporary beauty the beauty refers to the permanent beauty of our life the permanent beauty the permanent beauty means eternal permanent beauty eternal which is permanent which gives an imprint on us okay which makes an impact on us and whenever we recall we think of that i give example on the very introduction day and even in the explanation i have given the examples okay so when you recall some events spent with your auspicious person important person to do you like more and the time comes when you are alone you are in solitary state a lonely state and what happen you think about that person and you smile that is the beauty when returns in you and you smile okay so here the poet is talking that become nothing as they will continue to hold us their spell and soothe our soul give our soul peace to our soul our body our mind what is that the beauty okay got it the next slide the everything uh, yeah the everything uh, is like a band is like a band that ties us to this earth as it makes us oh, us want to live and enjoy these thing of beauty okay so what the poet is telling here the next line the every beautiful thing is like a band so you have seen the band the band is a circular and it is tied from each direction we cannot what get flexible we cannot remove from that circle okay so similarly the ties us this earth as if it makes us want to leave so this beauty ties us makes us stay and to give the chance to live in this earth gives a way to live this earth and gives a way process to live in this earth give the reason to live in this earth that is what beauty what we are talking okay and we enjoy our life when we enjoy that is the beauty of our life okay next line and these things of beauty according to the poet are the things that gives hope to human being okay that gives hope to the human being and make them want to live that i told you students in the very beginning okay these things of beauty these things of beauty what is the beauty we have that gives us a hope to live our life okay gives energy to live our life and in spite of all sorrow in spite of all sorrow whatever pain we have ill health we have unpleasant experience we have we we face on earth whatever problem we face on earth this beauty this beauty okay what clears our problem solves our issue that is the beauty what we talk about okay that this is the the beauty what we talk about here we have discussed here that it becomes a theoretical quality means it becomes a therapy it solves our problem okay i hope you are getting me what i am explaining you students okay so next line what the poet is talking here students look at some of the beautiful things on this earth that have such an effect on us are the sun we have already discussed sun moon trees streams flowers forest beautiful monuments that we have erected for the dead for the dead those who have died for them we have made a monuments 
and is exemplary, we keep them salute on the day of the remembrance. On the day of remembrance, we give them salute because they are the hero or the they have done something for our nature, for the people, for the country, and we remember them. All the lovely tales we have heard or read, these are the beautiful things. What from this poem the poet is talking about? These are the beautiful things the poet is talking from the what from this poem. Just to mark it down, students. Don't forget it. These are the beautiful things: sun, moon, trees, streams, flowers, forest, beautiful monuments that we have erected for the dead. When the dead people die, we create a big monuments for them. All the lovely tales we have heard or read, these are what beautiful things what we are getting from the poem. Okay. Next, finally, he compares all these beautiful things to immortal drink or nectar given to us by God or gifts of God. As I have told you uh, from the mythology we have read in, the God will come and give us what? The immortal drink, okay, uh, and we will become Amar. We will not die. Okay. Immortal. Thus he states him firm belief in divine, in the divine. Something will come and will make us eternal. He believes in the what divine, the divinity power. Okay. So finally comes to an end with de declaring that kind of immortal drink. Okay. By drinking that and we'll be getting it. Okay. So this is what the summary or the synopsis or you can the short ideas or discussion of the poem. What thing of beauty. So I hope uh, you are clear with the part of the poem, short explanation or the summary of the poem. And now we will come for the discussion of the questions. If you have any doubt, you can write it down. Otherwise, we'll go for the discussion of the questions here. And that is important for you for your practice. Okay, students, you have, for you have forgotten uh, or I have taken two to three videos. It's long day back. Today, the discussion of the summary and immediate questions. It will make you refresh, recap, and work with the questions. Okay, at the end, I'll be giving extra questions. Okay, have it, take it, work it, and give it in my WhatsApp. I'll try to solve, means I'll look into it and give you the answer. So, next year, here is in the extract Search the sun, the moon, trees old and young, sprouting a shady boon for a simple sheep, such as. Such are daffodils. With the green world they live in, clear reels that for themselves a cooling covert make against the hot season. What proves a blessing for the ship? Okay, what proves a blessing for the ship? Uh, trees young, old uh, provides a great cover, uh, covering which proves to be a blessing for the ship. Okay, trees young and old provides a green covering. That I told you, students, here in the explanation, what? Here, the, the sun, the moon, the trees and old, sprouting shady boon, sprouting shady boon, I to the coming of the new trees, okay? The young and old tree provide a green covering, which provides provides to be a blessing for the sheep, where the sheep can take rest, okay? Next one, uh, where do the daffodils bloom? Where do the daffodils come? Daffodils in the flowers or the what greenery, uh, what we can see scenery, what we enjoy in the fields. The daffodils bloom among the green surroundings, among the green surroundings. When you go to the farmers, the ploy and the green field, the dance with the air, the movement, that's the beauty of the daffodils, okay? Next question, what proved to be the pleasant shelter in summer? The small streams with clear water proved to be cooling, pleasant shelter in summer. Okay, name the object of beauty referred to here sun, moon, trees, daffodils, and streams of clear water are the objects of beauty mentioned here. These are the objects of beauty mentioned here. Okay, now let's discuss the some short questions. What, according to kids, are the things that cause suffering and pain? The poet says that. A scarcity of good natured people, or in other words, the wicked people outnumber the good people. What happened here? Try to understand. The poet said that scarcity of good natured people, there's a lack of good people. 
or in other words the wicked people outnumber the good people means the wicked people are increasing suppose one is a good one there will be 20 wicked people okay or 30 wicked people so or in uh, our 100 wicked people will be getting one good person so this is the present scenario at the source of our sorrow is either ill health or another human being we are in the bad condition is for some other human being or due to our ill health okay so next question what makes human beings love life in spite of all sufferings okay so what makes human being love life in spite of all the suffering the poet says that the beautiful things on earth lifts the pall of our spirits the what we can say the pain the dark uh, color of our life is, uh, is eradicated is taken off from or by the beauty okay and make our life worth living what is that beauty clears our dark spirits from our life each beautiful thing is like a link that forms a chain or wreath that binds us to this earth. So these, whatever the beautiful things gives us source, gives us inspiration to live on this earth. So this is what the poet is talking here. And this is the answer of this question. What does the poet say? Mighty dead. Okay, what does the poet say here? The mighty dead. The monuments are erected in, in the memory of people who were mighty or great when they lived. Okay, so when they were great, for them, the, uh, they were, after they're dead, the monuments are created, big buildings are created, they, uh, what for them, a place has been created and it's significance that this person is a great person. Okay, so uh, when they leave the physically mighty as in mighty warrior or mentally mighty as in great poets. Okay, physically or mentally power writers or philosophers. Their terms provide inspiration for the living through their beauty. Just as their work continue to do it. Okay? So this is what we are able to discuss the questions uh, from for the short questions and what you can extract the based question. Now the question for your homework. Take a snapshot, do practice and just show me the answer students. Definitely show me the answers. Uh, write it down and share me the answers in WhatsApp. Okay, so take this uh, snapshot of these questions. Extract and the four questions on your screen, students. Take the snapshot. If snapshot is taken, write it on the chat box. Yes, I can show you the other questions. You can take the snapshot of those. Quick, take the snapshot, take the screenshot or whatever shots you're taking. Yes, I did it. And that's good. Yes, taken, sir. Thank you. Okay, next, uh, I'm bringing the next question. Yeah, another one, uh, the extract. Yeah, here are the four questions for you. Take it and uh, write it down. Yeah. Yes, take the quest, extract, snapshot, and make me aware of taking the screenshot. Yes, done. Thank you. Yeah, next one. Okay, and just a minute, just a minute. Mm. Mm, yeah, mm, some shapes of beauty moves our path from the dark spirits. Yeah, this this part you take it first because half is on the page uh, other page and rest half is of an other other page so you take it in the, this e extract uh, screenshot first okay then we'll go for the next one yeah full extract and questions we'll be taking right now okay tell you you take it the uh, questions are here on your screen take the screenshot students after do practice okay and wish in a very short interval, I am going to take the test again. Of uh, again from Vistas, what are the chapters we have completed till now? Okay, so be prepared. I'll let you know again to write the test. So I hope everyone have received the what we can say answer copies of yours. What you appeared, the how you have done it in your last examination. 
So next, have patience and wait for the next coming and do prepare for it. Next, short question, answer. Okay, short, short questions. Yeah, take the uh, screenshot of this short questions. Yeah, I hope all of you have taken that screenshot. Yes, that's great. That's that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So that's the end of today's discussion of the poem, A Thing of Beauty. Okay. It was really beautiful. Okay, it was really beautiful. I hope you have enjoyed today's section uh, session. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed today's section uh, session. And uh, if you have any issues, any doubt related to the poem, you can write it down personally any moment, any time to me. I'll be there to help you out. So the new users of watching my video, come on, don't forget to subscribe my channel, and don't forget to press the thumbs up like button to my video okay and do press the bell icon button whenever i'll be uploading the video you can get it okay that's the end of today's class bye bye ta ta and meet you soon with a new video with new chapter from the stars okay that's the end of the class bye bye